Hello, hello. I hope you can feel my relaxation through the screen because I am so damn relaxed right now. Vacation mode is officially activated because as of yesterday, we have arrived in the Philippines. It's my first ever time here. I'm so, so excited to explore this beautiful country. First stop on our Philippines adventure is the beautiful seaside town of Moal Boal. It's located on Cebu Island, about a four hour drive from Cebu Airport. On our way for our first ever meal in the Philippines, we of course had to stop at Jollibee's. It's the famous Filipino fried chicken chain. I opted for menu number C5, which is basically chicken and rice. It comes with a little pot of gravy and it comes with a packet of rice that is like wrapped up. That's interesting. How do locals usually eat the rice? Just like this? Just like this, yeah. Uh, with no sauce? Just, yeah. just like this. Mm, very convenient way to eat your rice. I mean, you don't need to have a knife and fork or chopsticks. Do they use chopsticks in the Philippines? Mostly we use hands. Hands? Hands. Oh. oh, I like that. Well, I guess the first meal in the Philippines, let's do it like the locals. We're dipping our chicken into the gravy. Mm. Tender chicken. Oui. Crispy on the outside. I like the sauce. Ooh. It's a little bit like barbecue sauce. It's very good. Safe to say, this wasn't the only time we ate at Jollibee's. We loved it. Anyway, the reason we decided to come to Moabal is it's an absolute diving paradise. It's most famous for the sardine run, which is a huge tornado-like swarm of tiny fish that you can actually swim through. So for that reason, Delk has chosen this as the place to get his paddy diving certification. It's a three-day course. I myself, I'm a bit scared of deep water, so I won't be joining him for this diving trip, but I'm gonna be exploring today. I'm so keen to see what kind of tasty treats we can find here. But of course, I will be adventuring with the help of my favorite gadget, the Insta360 X3. So the Insta360 is a 360 degree camera. It basically combines the image from this camera and this camera to form a 360 degree field of view, which is very, very useful. Firstly, because you're capturing 360 degrees, of content, it means you're capturing everything at once. You don't have to worry about missing out on an angle or something interesting that's happening because after the fact, after you shoot your shots, you can actually reframe and choose what you want your video to look like. Secondly, because it's 360 degrees, it has the ability to make this selfie stick invisible, which allows for some really, really cool angles. Here are some of my go-tos. First up, the front on shot. This angle is also perfect for vlogging. Next up, holding your camera directly above you in the air. From this angle, the camera can actually mimic a drone-like shot. Another favorite angle of mine is sticking it out to the side. And from this angle, you can capture this awesome profile shot that'll leave people wondering who filmed this for you. And last but not least, my personal favorite, the throw it on the shoulder. I use this shot all the time in my videos, you've probably noticed. But everything gets even more exciting when you throw in the new and improved dive case. The cool thing about this new and improved dive case is the selfie stick will not be visible. The old versions actually had a little bit of the selfie stick poking out. Also, the cool thing about this dive case and using the Insta360 underwater when diving is traditionally you need someone else to help you film when you're scuba diving, but not with this. You can actually just hold your own selfie stick. You don't have to worry about anything because it's capturing everything at once. So I'm so excited to see how Delk's content is gonna come out today. Where is Delk, you may be asking? Well, he's already on his way. As for me, I'm going to be taking a very different means of transport today. I'm taking a tricycle for the first time. You'll see these tricycles absolutely everywhere here and they range from simple in design to super pimped out. I knew it was something I just had to experience. Also, it was great to chat with the driver and get his suggestions on where to go for a super local breakfast. So my Tuk Tuk driver has just dropped me off here. Uh, he said that this place is very nice. Um, it's called Sula's Eatery and Bake Shop and catering services. I am out of my depth here, guys. I have no idea what to order, so let's just see what they recommend, I guess. Do you have some breakfast? Yes, we have. We have rice, toast. I've yeah. never had a Filipino breakfast you before. The, you like bread? Yes. We have bread also. So this is where the bake shop concept comes into it. These bake shops are everywhere in the Philippines, and during our time here, Delk and I absolutely love them. The items are super tasty and super cheap, but this was my first ever experience actually ordering from one, so I wasn't really sure what to go for. What do you usually have for breakfast? Um, like this one, uh, pandesal. Pandesal, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. <laughs> they also recommended some pancit, fried noodles to go with my bread. Can I have those now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can I try a hot dog? Yeah. So yeah, I got a hot dog and egg too. What a combo. <laughs> Will locals eat this with this or with your hands? Or you can use with your hand. <laughs> you can wrap around it with your hand. And your hand and then even noodles I can eat with my hand? Yes. Ooh. 
Mm. It's like sweet bread and quite crumbly as well. You can see that, quite crumbly. And it's got a sweetness. She recommended that I could put my uh, hot dog in here. Mm. So the hot dog is kind of reminding me of like the Frankfurt cocktail sausages that we would put in like a kind of a hot dog back home. All that's missing is some ketchup and some mustard really. And we also have our pan sit here, like a fried noodle, which I'm gonna have with my hand. Very tasty. Great way to start the day. Nice and digestible and tasty. And oh my goodness, everyone is so friendly and welcoming. I mean, coming here, I'm reminded of how it feels being a foreigner in an unfamiliar country and the anxiety that can come from getting out of your comfort zone. The locals were so friendly and helpful. This set a great precedent for the rest of my trip here in trying new things. And now it comes to find out how much this costs. And I have a feeling it's gonna be 90. Wow, okay, 90 pesos. Very nice breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So now we are heading to Panaksama, which is like the, the main city street of Moaboa. And you can find a lot of uh, coffee shops. <laughs> and that's my next, uh, the, the next thing I want to do is find some coffee. This one, is it good? Yeah. Hello. As beloved friend of the channel, Peter would say, Don't talk to me before I drink my coffee. <laughs> well, I guess now the day can truly begin. So I've just finished my coffee and there's a guy here who said he's going to take me snorkeling. You're going to take me snorkeling, right? Yeah. Is it good? Yes. Yeah. Will I see the sardines? Sardines are So the Insta360 is waterproof on its own, so I'm not bringing the diving case with me because I'm not going very far underneath the water. So let's see how it performs just when snorkeling. My guide led me towards the most beautiful crystal clear water. I mean, you can see why this place is famous for diving and snorkeling. It's good to have a guide because I would have absolutely no idea of where to go. Although reflecting back, it's really not rocket science. If you want to save some money on a guide, just rent a snorkel and follow the crowds. Invariably, that's where you'll find the sardines. So the fish, I can see the sardines, they're just below me. Okay, I push you down. You push me down. Three meters. One. Go. So while the X3 on its own is waterproof, I've since learned that it doesn't perform best underwater because water will reflect light differently. For that reason, if you're planning to use the X3 underwater, I strongly recommend you use the dive case. As a comparison, this is Delk a few days later in the exact same spot, but just using the dive case. I mean, how beautiful are those fish? Okay, so I think I've definitely deserved some lunch after this, after that swimming around. So Jolan here is going to be taking me for some local lunch, right? Yeah, local lunch. Awesome. Jolan and I got talking at the dive shop after I mentioned I want to find somewhere super local for lunch. He told me he knows just the place for me to try. This is it here. It's called Food Trip Express Diner. It's full of locals and the food looks super tasty. This is a pork sisig. Pork sisig, okay. Oh, that looks amazing. Also, this hello hello on the menu really grabbed my attention. Hello. hello. Hi, can I have a hello hello? Yes. Oh, this is a horse with egg. Hi. Hello. Wow, this looks beautiful. Do you usually mix it together? Yeah, mix it together. This is a chili. This is the smallest chili I've ever yeah. seen in my life. This is a very hot. Very hot? Spicy. Should I try? No. Just like this? No. It's very spicy! So I've learned the correct way to eat this tiny chili is to break it up using your spoon and then mix it in all together with your sisig. Also this name one, you can try to like this. Uh, squishy, squishy. It's it. so I like this. Oh, that looks so good. Very local food? Yeah, local food. This is familiar of all Filipino. Oh my gosh. It's hot, huh? Mm. And then you can put it rice. This Whoa, that's so good. It, it tastes like gravy, actually. Yeah, gravy. Very peppery, gravy kind of taste. It's salty. It's got a very like warming, comforting quality to it, actually. Yeah. And a little bit of spicy, a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy. There's also a nice texture hitting me from this pork. So skin. it has like, oh, it's a skin. The skin also. Oh, that's why, because it's got this chewy quality. This is a bamselo Oh, thank you so much. So this was one of my favorite dishes in the Philippines and I even took Dirk back here to try it and he loved it too. Um, I really like the fish. It's simple but delicious. It's basically a grilled fish served with a sunny side up egg, some rice in a packet, a calamansi lemon with some more mini chilies, as well as this flavor bomb of a sauce. This is a uh, bullis. Bullis. No, no bull. You can try. Oh, really? The fish is so good. Yeah. 
So flavorful. It's also got this beautiful char on the outside. And oh wow, I love how it's boneless. And so I should have this with some rice and some egg and some chili, or how do I eat? Yeah, you can mix together. So I went in and got a bite with a bit of everything. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. I asked Jolin if he could teach me how to eat these dishes like a local, using my hands. Don't worry, we did wash our hands first. Wait, look, this other side. Look. Oh, so you use your thumb like this? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I think food tastes better when yeah. you eat it with your hands. Yeah. Food is out of this world. This fish is incredible. But I think what I love most is this sauce. It's um, soy sauce. vinegar, soy sauce, uh, calamansi. and calamansi are uh, yeah. these. Yeah, yeah, calamansi. It's these little uh, lemons that I'm seeing quite a lot. And this sauce is so zappy and refreshing and it goes so well with this fish that's like slightly saltier on the outside. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Wow. In English, in hello, hello, mix. Is mix, mix? Oh, so it means mix, mix. Mix, mix. Inside, you say there are many things. Yeah. What's, what's this Banana. one? Banana. Banana? Yeah. Also have a mango. Wow, it's purple. Yeah, purple. And there are so many colors in this, guys. Obi also. Obi? Yeah. Obi. What's Obi? Potato. Okay. Let's try some obi. So I, should I try a little bit of everything together? Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely first amazing. Time. First time. First time hello hello. So good. I can tell you this won't be my last one. In China, we have something called bingfen. And it's kind of similar. This is a very dangerous thing for me to be discovering on my second day here in the Philippines. We still have two more weeks. I'm gonna have to have at least one of these a day. At the counter of the restaurant, you also have a lot of other foods on offer. Oh, so many things. Shomai. Oh my gosh, shomai. Yeah, this is a familiar. You have shomai in Philippines? Yeah, but Philippines shomai. Different from China version? Different, different. So we were just about to leave, and uh, I saw that they have uh, shomai. Philippine version of shomai. Wow, and I have to try it. So how should I eat this? So it comes in this little leaf or a little packet, and we have the shawmai there, which have a very garlic yeah, taste. Do, do you like that lemon up? Oh, perfect. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. Do I put in here? Yeah. Dipping sauce. Wow. Wow. See or no? No. <laughs> very different. I love how zesty everything is here. Like. These little lemons, they really pack a punch. And when you put it on that, like the shawmai, there's like a topping on it that's very garlicky and also are quite um, quite spicy as well. But when you put some of this lemon on it, it gives it the perfect amount of zestiness. The flavors really go well with each other. Right now, my mouth is being pulled in like five different directions. Spicy, salty, garlicky, zesty from that lemon. Man, this is so good, but very different from the China version. I mean, in China, the shawmai, I guess based on, depending on where you get it from, China has many versions of shawmai, but it's never zesty. Like I've never had a, a lemony shawmai. Huge thanks to Jolin for taking me to try some local food. I learned so much from him today. And if you're planning to come to Moabola yourself and want a local guide or a motorbike driver or a snorkeling, diving or free diving buddy, you can get in contact with Jolin here. I am back at my hotel. Gonna take a little rest before I do any more eating. Hey! What are you doing here? Hello, hello. Why aren't you diving? I'm studying for my for my license. So wait, I'm, did I'm you go in the water today? In, in the a pool. pool. In a pool. Yeah, we went into the pool to do to go through all the different maneuvers and everything. Well, maybe I can come with you tomorrow when you go. Yes. Going out with Derek today. This path is very slippery. I'm wearing a wetsuit because I may or may not go snorkeling again. He says that there is a little jellyfish in the water, which might be a game changer for me. <laughs> we'll see how brave I get. But for now, we're just walking along this very slippery path towards the boat there. And then we're going to go to another spot where Jack is going to do his uh, his next dive. It was the weirdest feeling seeing him just disappear into the water and it sent my anxiety into overdrive knowing he'd be under there for 50 minutes or so. I got so nervous at one point I even put my camera underwater to see if I could see if he was okay. Turns out he was more than fine. He even took some footage for me with his X3 with the dive case so I could live vicariously through him. I mean how cool is this?
How is the fish and the, and the, the, the view? Ah, it's amazing. But it's not necessarily only the fish. It's also just the fact that underwater you're just floating. It feels like you're in, in space. But uh, yeah, 50 minutes under the water and I saw sea turtles, I saw the sardines, I saw here Nemo, <laughs> the clownfish. Is this the sign <laughs> yeah. for it? <laughs> this, uh, this is what they do. If, they, if there's a Nemo, they do this, and if there's a turtle, they do this. Oh, that's cute. I absolutely can't wait to get home and check out the footage that oh, you've yeah. gotten from under the water. So a big thank you to the Insta360 X3 for mm. sponsoring this video. I mean, such amazing shots I'm sure we've gotten. And uh, it's great for myself, especially because I don't have the, you know, the courage to go myself under the water. So it's great that Diot could capture some things for me. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in learning more about the X3 or purchasing one for yourself, you can check the link in my description for more information. And yeah, that's going to be it for our video today. Today. And you definitely don't want to miss next week's video because we have some super exciting news. I'm engaged! <laughs> We're going to be sharing our engagement story here in the Philippines, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining us and uh, yeah, see you next time. Yes. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>